Welcome to our video. This video is made on financial and managerial accounting. I am Shami Akhtar. Here is our member's ID and name. I will discuss the part of ledger. We can see from the accounting cycle a ledger comes from the journal. So to get a ledger we have to make a journal first. Now a big question what is ledger? Well, a ledger is an accounting book that facilitates the transfer of all journal entries in chronological sequence to individual accounts. The process of recording journal entries into the ledger is called posting. There is three types of ledger, general ledger, debtor's ledger, and creditor's ledger. Here we will describe the general ledger. Now, one more important question, why we use ledger? Well, nowadays we have to manage many transactions. In one word, to manage all transactions, <coughs> we need ledger. A ledger show details of each transaction. That means it show all assets such as equipment, supplies, account receivable, cash, and li all liabilities and all owner equity uh, separately so that we can understand the estimate of uh, each transaction in few minutes. Hello everyone, I am Shahriya Rabbi and my ID is 15115-5424. So today I am going to tell you about General Ledger. A General Ledger is a company's set of numbered account for its accounting records. The Ledger provides a complete record of financial transaction over the life of the company. So what are the uses of ledger? General ledger is a book of final entry for all business transaction of a company. Primarily any end balance from the said ledger of an account used by a particular business enterprise is the final balance that will be forwarded to a financial statement of the company. The ledger will be an accounting aid or tool to determining or tracking from which book of accounts a journal entry was recorded. It also serves as a tool for internal or external auditorial to track the flow of business transaction of an entity for a given period. So what are the disadvantages of the using of subsidiary ledger? Obviously it's too time consuming. So how do we use general ledger? General ledger is a summary of all transaction that occur in a company. This is not entirely accurate. The general ledger show you the balance and debit and credit to each specific account, but the bookkeeper recheck the number of the number in the ledgers. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Today we will learn how to prepare ledger from general journal. So here is the question and this is the general journal from this general journal we will prepare lasers so here is laser the first laser is cash so from journal uh, we will find we will search all the cash transactions and we will write the opposite of cash, tra cash transaction in this account title and the transaction date and the transaction uh, type debit or credit so let's find the first cash from journal the first cash find in October 1 and the opposite of cash is owner's capital so this uh, this cash is come from owner's capital owners invested it or uh, it was his capital so we will write uh, in laser uh, on account title is owner's capital and it the amount in debit side 10,000 taka so let's see in cash this is the cash amount 10,000 taka and this case was come from owner's capital and it is in debit side so uh, next uh, if there is uh, any cash transaction in general journal we will find all the cash from general 
so next uh, cache is uh, so next uh, here we find some cache uh, in October 20 uh, October 26 October 31 and we should uh, find all caches um, uh, by uh, one by one so first cache was this October 1 and second cache is October 2 and this case is in debit side and we will write here cash uh, to the one and uh, 1200 in debit side and uh, it's come from uh, under service revenue and uh, we find debit and we write uh, we find the first uh, cash in debit side and write in uh, balance and second cash also in debit side and we will uh, add uh, both of these uh, amount and write in balance and find the next cash the next cash transaction in October 3 and it's came from uh, its was expense of uh, rent so we will write rents, rent expense in account title and cash in credit side see so here the rent expense and cash in credit side because cash was in credit so from the previous balance we will subtract this credit because balance uh, is in debit because all the balance was from, from debit so we will subtract uh, 9900 from uh, this 11200 uh, and we will find uh, 10300 by following all this uh, process we will find all the uh, cash flow and write uh, in uh, the type debit or credit and we will calculate the balance and finally we find a balance uh, on uh, 15200 taka so next lesson is supplies from journal where is supplies we should find supplies so here is supplies on october 5 and it is 2500 tracker in debit so we will write an uh, account payable on account title and the amount in debit side and balance in debit so there is no supplies in general journal so there is only one and the balance and by following this uh, we will prepare the prepared insurance and equipment and we will write so next uh, see an example of prepared insurance and laser prepared insurance so when prepared insurance from journal here is the prepared insurance in October 4 and it is in debit side and we will write cash as account title and amount in debit side and cash account in debit side and there is uh, no prepaid insurance transaction on general journal so this is the balance of prepaid insurance uh, next uh, the equipment and by following uh, all by searching the general journal we find all the transaction uh, all the lasers so my next uh, members uh, will describe uh, following lasers thank you assalamu alaikum today i will present how to make lasers from general journal here is a question we have already made a general the general journal here we have to find we have to make laser of notes payable first we have to find out the entry notes payable in the general journal here is here we have found the notes payable uh, we have to write date for one then we have to write the opposite entry of the notes payable that is equipment then here the here notes payable is credit balance we also know notes payable is default balance is credit so we write the amount in the credit side then we have we will go to the accounts payable First, we have to find out the gen accounts payable entry in general journal. Here we have found a date, the date is October 5. Then the opposite entry of accounts payable is supplies. Normally, accounts payable is credit balance. Here in the journal, uh, it is also credit balance. So we will write amount in the credit side. Then the balance will also five zero zero next unearned service revenue we have to find out unearned service revenue 
here you have pound the date is October 2 and the opposite entry of the unarmed service revenue is cash normally we know that unarmed service revenue is credit balance and here is in the journal it is also credits so we write the amount in the credit side and the balance is 1200 owners capital first we have to find out owners capital in the journal here we have found uh, the date is October 1 we put the date and the opposite entry of the owners capital is cash so we put cash and uh, we know that owners capital debit uh, no default balance is credit and in the journal it is also credit uh, so we put the amount in the credit side and the balance is 10000 and that's all from me uh, my next our next group member will present the other lizards Hello, this is Tanjana Akhtar with ID 14213615. Now I will do my presentation on the last four letters of this general journal. In this general journal, we can see here rent expense on October 3. Now we will do leather for this rent expense. Here we can see this rent is expense is on debit and its normal balance is also on debit so we will write it on debit side now first we will write here the date the date is 2017 october 3 and uh, for which thing this rent expense occurred this is for cash so we will write it on cash and this transaction occurred on debit so we will write it on debit side and its amount is 900 and as its normal balance is also 900 so its balance will be 900 this is so we are now done with rent expense because here is no rent expense other than this we can see so let's see others we can see our owner's drawings so let's do leather for owner's drawing and this transaction occurred on October 20 so we'll write here October 20 and for what this transaction occurred cash so we'll write cash for owner's drawing. And that amount and the owner's drawing is on debit side. And its normal side uh, normal balance also on debit. So the balance will be only five hundred. Here we can see there is no owner's drawing other than this, so we will continue with salaries and wages. We can see it happened on October 26 and it is occurred for expense. It is occurred on opposition of cash. So we will write here cash. And the date is October 26. And the amount is on debit side. And the amount is 4000. So we will write 4000 on debit side. And the balance is also 4000. At last, we will do the leather for service revenue, which is a credit balance here, and the amount is 10,000, and it occurred on October 31. So first, we will write the date, 
October 31 and it occurred for cash so we will write here cash and it is a credit balance here and its normal balance is also credit so it it will be 10,000 on both credit side and balance side. Thank you. This is the leather part of this general journal. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my presentation. I am Sadekaha, my ID last four digit 5210. Now I talk about trial balance. So what is trial balance? A trial balance is a list and total of all the debit and credit account for an entity for a given period, usually a month. Preparing a trial balance, we have to know that the uh, that uh, which account are listed under uh, which uh, column like assets revenue drawing uh, debit balance so we input this uh, account in debit column and others like uh, liabilities expense equity input as credit column okay the importance of make trial balance is one it helpful to find transaction error sometimes we can do mistake of transaction tabs can help us to find this error second helpful to find miscalculation error uh, this error actually due to our poor calculation uh, uh, tabs also help to find that third helpful to find duplication error Sometimes we can write any laser balance two times in trial balance. Uh, using trial balance, we also find that error. Fourth, uh, helpful to find wrong side error. Uh, under this error, we wrongly write debit balance as credit balance in laser accounts or trial balance. Trial balance. So uh, we find this error also using trial balance. So yeah, it's help. And uh, finally, it helpful to make accounting a statement like income statement, owner equity, balance sheet. So, trial balance is very important, and we need to make this error. Uh, this, tra uh, this, uh, tra this. Thank you all. Uh, my next presenter uh, explain uh, uh, example of trial balance, and they solve a math. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Mohammad Nazmo Sadat Bisan and I am going to tell you how to build a trial balance from the laser account. So what is laser? Uh, I think my previous friends have told you about this so I don't have to repeat that. So let's see how to build this trial balance from this particular laser. Here you can see some accounts title are here and some balance and their debit whether it's debit or credit so for building this trial balance here we have to take this particular accounts title from the lasers and their final balance so let's see here you can see the cash and its final balance is 15200 and here you can see some uh, uh, debit, uh, some of these values are debit side and some of these values are credit side. Why this is here? I think my previous friend has told you. And after the uh, additioning and subtractioning of this uh, account, we get this final balance 15,200. And we implement this in the trial balance of the debit side because the debit side is higher than the credit side. So here you can see 15,200. Okay. Now next is supplies. Well, uh, I forget to tell you there is there are some particular uh, mm, rules and regulation of accounting. Here the accounting equation is uh, here a, a means assets is equal to 
it means liabilities plus owner security the normal value of asset are always going to be in uh, uh, debit side the normal value of uh, liabilities is always going to be at credit side and some of the owners equity in owner security are going to debit side and some are uh, some are going to in the uh, credit side so here i think my previous friend have have told you also so let's see the next here you can see supplies 2500 and here in uh, the laser account you can see only in supplies only one implementation okay yes okay so only one implementation here you can see the uh, value of uh, the balance is 2000 the final balance is 2500 and here you can see this 2500 are in debit side so here in trial balance this will going to be in debit side and the final balance will be 2500 now next is uh, prepaid insurance prepaid insurance is uh, also if asset and assets why because we uh, pay something in uh, from in present and we will benefit from this in future this is this is an all this is an um, uh, what can you say this is an um, rules of an asset so bpd insurance is an asset so let's we'll see how to how this prepaid insurance come to to this debit side of the trial balance here you can see the only one uh, entry of this prepaid insurance and this the value is or uh, uh in only in one in debit side and the final balance is also the debit side of this balance as same so 600 and we implement this into this trial balance at prepaid insurance in debit side okay let's see the next one equipment here you can see uh, equipment yeah, well equipment is uh, also an asset so uh, there this this is also going to be in debit side of the trial balance and here you can see the debit side of the trial balance is 600 5000 uh, sorry so we can tell this particular rules and regulation of this equation this is going to happen at uh, why whether it debit or credit so i hope you will understand it be, uh, better in uh, from my from my next presenter who will understand this clearly thank you everyone hello everyone i am shahir kobi jinna uh, our previous group member discussed skill uh, equipment now i will discuss from note payable well uh, we uh, know that note payable is one kind of uh, liability and uh, liability is uh, defaultly uh, credit and we put this value 5000 here and we get uh, a note payable value from note payable ledger here and uh, then we uh, implement this account payable value of uh, 2500 credit side here because uh, we know that uh, accounts uh, payable is also one kind of uh, liability and so that we put this value here after that uh, unearned service revenue unearned service revenue is uh, defaultly credit and we get this value from unearned service revenue or uh, ledger here after that uh, owners capital owners capital uh, is uh, defaultly credit and we get put this value here after that uh, owners drawing owners drawing uh, we know that is uh, defaultly debit 500 we get this value from here after that uh, service revenue we uh, put this uh, value service revenue is here because we know that service revenue is uh, credit defaultly after that uh, service uh, salaries and wage expense uh, it is also uh, uh, it is a de defaulty debit and uh, we get this value from 
this ledger after that rent rent expense uh, rent expense is uh, defaultly uh, debit and so that we put this value here after that uh, we uh, sum this debit side value and credit side value and put this result here and uh, if this value uh, is all equal so that we can uh, tell that uh, our transaction was uh, correct and that's all from our uh, group hope you uh, all enjoy and able to learn about general journal and trial balance so keep learning and thank you